Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo of the Stock Swish, and reviewing the market, the QQQs. The market fell. We were in puts in this. They worked. Everybody's up for the week. So again, you even could have mismanaged these options that I call these puts that I called this week and got crappy entries, crappy exits. You could still even be in it. This is this is just like one of these weeks where we had such I had such nice calls and we were so early in the calls that um, it didn't matter what you did, you made money. Uh, you could have been half asleep and making money. And again, the nice thing about doing options is they do the work for you. The stock does the work for you in the momentum and in the gap and in the in the move and in this case here again we did put so we were short the market and the market has done nothing but fall this entire week in fact let's just go back to where monday started monday tuesday wednesday thursday one more day left in the week we started out monday actually monday was a gap up high was 442.15 fell 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 boom low today is 422.83 someone texted me and wondered about the market trades i said well <laughs> These are so far in the money and through the strike. Technically, could you stay in these to the last day if we fall tomorrow? Sure, but I think I mean, you're up a lot of money the day before the expiration. You want to make sure you get out. So I think everybody really should be out of the Friday expirations today, in my opinion. But, you know, who knows where we go tomorrow because this market has been wild and wooly. And again, I thought we would fall. I did a webinar. What the heck day was that? Oh, it was here. It was April 10th, I did a webinar and I was talking to people and I was saying, I'd said in the webinar my bias for the market, the market had gapped down that day. I said I thought we were lower, it didn't happen that day and then it didn't happen for, for a few days, but I was right, I was right. And again, I don't know if people listen to me. If people listen to me, they'll learn a lot. If people listen to me, they're, they'll, they'll hear something that I say that'll allow them to make good decisions with trades. I mean, the whole point of coming learning from me is you can just get the calls live in the room get the options newsletters, get on the email list, start getting the trades. But I mean, it is funny, like people will continue to ignore what's right in front of their face. And I know there's people following me that have thought about the class and want to sign up for the class and they just can't, they can't bring themselves to do it because the class costs seven grand and people have to plop down the money to learn and take the class and get the trades. The second people decide to do that and start trading with me and start making money, they realize that they should have done it all along. And it's been right in their face for years and years and years. It's similar to trading. Again, the answers are right in your face, but you don't know what to look for and you don't know what to do. I'm lucky that I do. Again, this is a whole system that I figured out over the course of three years. But again, when you're trying to figure out what to do, it's extremely confusing when you're listening to far too many people. And if you're doing different strategies, have different indicators, You've got to focus on what you're doing in order to make money. It has to be one strategy, one thing that you're doing that works consistently. It's the only way you're going to get somewhere with this. And again, I was right in the webinar telling people what I thought. I don't know if anyone heard me, believe me. I have no idea. Probably didn't because we flipped and rallied the next day. But we were short and the trades worked. So again, Really nice call here in the market. We'll see where we go. The Fed finally came out then yesterday and said, oh, we're not gonna lower rates this year. I've been saying that all along. I had two TV hits actually the last month where I said that, and I don't know if anybody even listened to that either. So, <laughs> so again, uh, I always tell people in the room, listen to what I'm saying, particularly in the morning before the open, listen to what I have to say about the market. For those of you that are interested and wanna trade and wanna get going, it's a great time to trade. Great read here in the market. We don't do the market every week. We don't trade the market every day, but sometimes I will. There was opportunity here. I saw it. We stepped in early. We got the moves. We got the sell off. And here we are. Quarter of three on a Thursday. And we'll see where we close and where we go tomorrow. It's earnings season. Everything that happens is going to affect the market, um, especially Netflix. Netflix reports tonight. Again, Netflix will 100% affect the overall market. So I'll be watching that after four o'clock. Good luck, everyone. If you're interested in more information and want to learn my method and get in the room, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.